Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. I'm excited you're here because today we're going to do something fun. We're going to summer proof our face, and we're going to wind up with a shine that is not sweat. <laughs> you know, because when you get really hot, everything sweats. Well, this is so summer proof. I love it. It's touchable. It, you're gonna, you're just gonna enjoy it. I swear you will. I didn't realize how it was going to turn out. This is the first time I've done it, but. I think you need to stick around and watch and learn how to do this. All right, before we get started, the first thing that you really need to do is concentrate on your skincare. So I did my skincare this morning. I have found my hair looks weird. <laughs> it always does. Second day hair, people. Um, that's when you put on hair. Yeah, when you have second day, you don't want to fool with it. Now, I have been using this. I really like this. I picked it up in Walmart. It's Neutrogena in Invisible Daily Defense Lotion. It has a broad spectrum of 30. Very, very creamy. And I like it because it's not white and it's not chalky, okay? And then what I do first is put this on, okay, my face. And then I use my Uology skincare for days. And then I have a night serum too. But this is daytime lotion for that. And perfect. My face feels really nice. Now, what we're going to do is add um, some primer. And I think I'm going to add, um, I think I want to use Too Faced today because this is a matte primer. It is poreless, primed and poreless. So let's try that since I already have all my skincare on and I've started my eyes. This is a really pretty lotion like primer. It's very creamy. You see, it's not chalky. Sometimes you can get stuff that's really chalky. Well, I make sure I concentrate most of it here on my nose, in the center of my face, and then I just kind of push it outward because this is where I have all my issues, uh, right in the center of my face. And you do not have to use a whole lot of this. It little goes a long way. I'm going to put just a tad more, not much, for my forehead, okay? You're going to love this. This is cool. I have, um, I have only seen this in pictures, y'all. I haven't tried it. <laughs> so I'm going to be your guinea pig today. And we're going to see if this actually works. I hope it does because I got to go somewhere and I'm going to have to leave the house and I'm not changing it. So it's going to have, it's going to work. It's going to work. I it looks so cool uh, when this got finished. I thought, I got to try it. And I'm, we're just going to try it together. If it's a, then we won't do it again, right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to let this set for a few minutes. I do like to let it set for about five minutes. Um, grab some coffee and then, um, you know, get my face started. Alrighty, now the next thing we're going to do is spot treat. I'm going to use this little L'Oreal color corrector pencil. You can get it in Wally World. Don't worry, I'll link stuff so you can like go find it. This is where the sun would naturally, like when you're driving, that's that big spot there. <laughs> that's where that one came from. Now you could use, you know, Laura Mercier, you could do something like this too. This would be a really good color corrector. I'm going to use some of this today, um, but we're going to start off with... Um, I'm looking at the picture, and I believe I want to start with the dark color first. And the way this goes on, you just draw it on your face. It's going to be a lot of lines, but we're going to blend it all together. You're going to even add your blush in this as well. I'm probably going to use lipstick for that, but let's go ahead and grab. I got two colors here. I'm not really sure I want to use this darker color. I may do a little bit of both. We'll just see. But first, I'm going to start with this, and we're going to draw. This is going to be fun. This is like when you were kids, and you were drawing things, and uh, you never really thought about drawing stuff on your face, right? Now, <laughs> she, this girl here, the picture of her, she's got very dark, darker skin than me. So that's why I'm so afraid of going too dark with this. Now, if we go here and here, you're going to have to kind of make it where you can see it. I'm going to do a little bit more drama mama. So... I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. She, They actually bring it down under here as well. I get that because we have turkey neck. And we do, they outline the lips up too. So we're going to do the lips. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. It is. It's going to be interesting. Now I'm going to do here. You got to do here in a, in a V. Can you see it? I can. Probably they did hers darker because you can really see it. Oh. So that's like a V. And then we're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and start here and come like they do right here, all the way down here. And then they take it out this way. Hmm. 
interesting. And then they're going to do the same thing on this side. So let me match it. <laughs> I'm going to have to make mine just a little darker so you can see it. There we go. I'm, you know, I've got really fair skin. So now we're going to go um, on the top of the forehead. And I'm going to move my hair back out of the way. And we're going to do lines here. We're going to do, actually, they're kind of like horizontal lines. Like this. And this. And then you're going to have it over here. Now, you could use a brush if you want to do this. I'm just going along with it just to see what I can do. Okay, whoa. <laughs> that's a lot. Yep, that's a lot. All right, so we're going to, I think I'm going to take this up a little more through here just for me. I think I would kind of like that way it would pull it up. Um, and that's pretty much all they've done with the dark, except for we got to run some light through here. And then you put a little bit of dark right here in this corner, like right here and right here. Now, her face is a little bigger than mine, so there you go. We are going to also use, um, you can use what any kind of concealer you want. You could definitely use something like a color corrector, you know, like the more lower Mercier. But I'm going to use Lancome today, and I like this color. It's an all-over concealer, so I think it will work great. So we're going to go one, two, three here. We are going to go one, two, three there. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I'm going to put a little light right there myself. She doesn't have it, but I feel like I need some light right there in between those two dark colors. And I'm going to put this back down in here, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to go, um, they got it right here, right here. Mm, I'm going to put just a tad right there and right there. I don't see it on her, but I just feel like I might need some right there. Okay. You can do what you want, girl. It's your face. And do it here. And then they come around through here. And through here. Now, you can always come back and add more if you need more. If you feel like you need more. I don't think I need more. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good right now. Um, and they come down on both sides of the nose here like this. And then you're going to come here. Down through there. You know, I'm not as perfect as this makeup artist is that's doing this. So, um, but it is a lot of fun. All right, we're going to come here to her face is longer than mine. All right, so I'm only going to do three. She's got like, I put one there. <laughs> She's got like four going through there. And then we're going to blend all of this out. Believe me, I'm crossing my fingers that it works. If it doesn't work, then you'll know not to do it, correct? Yes. <laughs> yes, you will. And um, I'm going to put some here. It's hard to see in this picture, but I guarantee you there's some right here, okay? So I know I've got to, and I want to cover up those little brown spots right there. So I'm going to add my own little flare right there. Just my own little, oh, look at that. <laughs> now I am going to blend this out. Actually, I think he used a beauty blender. This is a guy that did this. He used a beauty blender. So I'm going to start with the darker color first. So we're going to kind of blend this out as we go. Remember now, we've got to start down here at the bottom. Oh, man. Cross your fingers, it works. Now, you know what I think I might do with this? I'm going to add, it doesn't look like he added, I don't know if he's using like real uh, foundation there. It just looks like he's using a bunch of concealer to me. I'm going to add just a few drops of Laura Mercier, okay? Not a whole lot. I'm just going to kind of bounce that through little spots I see that I might want a little bit of coverage. And like up here. And I can always come back and add wherever I want to. I'm not doing a whole lot. We'll put some there. We'll put a little there. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little there. So that cake way it can kind of mix in. We'll see what we get, girl. Mm-hmm. Don't be scared. I'm scared a little bit. But, I, you know, it's the way you learn. It's how you learn how to do stuff. Oh, I know one thing I need to add, but I'll add it in just a minute. All right, so I'm going to blend this out through here. And I'm not trying to move the product at all. I'm just kind of blending as I go up through here. So let's do one side and then compare it to the other, okay? Oh, that's kind of cool. Very, very cool. Mm. 
Wow. Look at that. All right. <laughs> Let's grab. Eee, why don't I have it out? Let's grab. Um, I think I want to do like loaded, which is a beautiful, beautiful color of lipstick. If I can find it. Here it is. Here it is. Y'all, I'm so haphazard. Do y'all know I work a full-time job? Yes, I do. And I do unique on the side. And then I love doing this, you know. All right, this is the color loaded. So we're going to add a little bit of loaded right here. Just on this side. We're going to fin that, finish one side. And then we'll look and see what it looks like compared to this side. Um, so you can see exactly. Oh, look how that blended out versus what she had over here. And I think adding that little bit of the foundation really did make a little difference there. Let me come up through here. Now, I haven't done my under eyes, so that we still have to do. Now, you don't want to do your brows yet because you are kind of bouncing around with these colors, and um, you want to kind of get all of this blended out first. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. We'll kind of come up in this corner just a tad. I'm not going to finish my nose. I just want to see what... Oh, that is that is really pretty. Oh, my. All right. So, they did a little bit of baking in this video. So, I used its. I like its. It's really light. And when you go to brush it off, it just disappears, you know, seamlessly into your skin. Right now, I know it looks weird. Um, I don't know if there's anywhere else I would like to add a little baking maybe maybe i'll put a little bit i mean a little different from them they i mean she did some baking but or he did i think it was a guy that actually did this <laughs> um it's what it looks like all right so there we go just a little right there in the center now i let this sit uh for a few minutes and i'm gonna go ahead and maybe try to finished my brows or something like that and then i'll be back and i'll finish out my eyes and then we'll finish the last thing we'll do is my under eyes Okay, I think this is set long enough. Use a big fluffy brush and just kind of blend that out off of your face, even through here, around my nose. Oh yes, through here and right up through this area. And we're gonna go ahead and do, um, we're gonna go ahead and do my um, under eyes real quick. Oh my, that's so pretty. It looks just like I'm glowing from within which is what I'm after. I need some glow <laughs> from within. Sometimes I wonder, you know, like, where'd my glow go? Like J-Lo, she has her glow. I need mine too, right? Yes, I do. All right, so I'm putting the same, you know, concealer that I used, the Lancome, and so I'm gonna let that sit just a second, and we are going to blend it out, and then I will set it with a little bit of powder, not a whole lot. I have learned that powder is not my friend underneath my eyes, so I have to be really, really, you know, simple with it, and so I do use my fingers. You can use a brush. It's just up to you. Since I have that um, Siren Goma, I have to be really careful about how much I put here. It, it, um, I, I am on tretinoid for that, and they do look better, I will say. They have gotten a lot better, and hopefully they might go away. I am think considering like a laser treatment to help with them. Oh, that looks so good. It's not perfect, but it's good, okay? It does. It looks good. It looks better than it has been, let me just say. Um, the first few days with the tretinoid was tough on my old eyes. It really, really was. And now that it's gotten kind of, it's calmed down, it's gotten kind of used to it, it's been much, much better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a brush. I don't know which one I want to use. I do need to put just a little bit of powder underneath my eyes. We'll just grab this one. This one right here is a nice little fluffy brush. I use the BK Beauty brushes a lot. So I'm just still going to use um, a little bit of it's, not a whole lot. Just tap it off, get it and tap it off. Um, and sometimes I'll just do it on my hand and then I just lightly, lightly put it under here. I like using a smaller brush sometimes because it's just easier for me because I have very small eyes. My, my eyes are kind of close set too, so I have to be real careful. <laughs> real careful. Go ahead and set it. And you know, this has really, really been working for me. 
Um, I know I love the Kosas, but I think um, I need to get some new Kosas. I think the other one, uh, the ones that I've had, are older, and I just need to transition out of those. I, I try to use all I can out of it, you know, to get the best use out of it. But, however, I think I've used all I can. And that made me why my eyes were watering a little bit the other day. So, oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I like this. I really, really like this. I finished out my brows and do too much to those. So, I need to add a little bit of lipstick. Oh, girl. Okay, I think this looks so pretty. You know, drawing lines on your face. Like, I got a picture of it right here. It's incredible how that turns out. You should try it. You really should. I'm 60. It worked on me. I'm going to use a little bit of this. It's a Charlotte Tilbury. This is that um, Architect. I don't, it's such a long name. It's Glow Glide <laughs> Face Architect Highlighter. And I'm using Champagne Gold. I love it. It's very pretty. That's what's on the center of my lips, okay? I used Maybelline um, on my lips. It's called the color Gone Grige. I think it's number 104. You can find it at Walmart. Or Target, either one. I like this. I think it's pretty. It's getting summertime. This is so pretty on your eyes too. I used it on my eyes uh, not too long ago, and man, how pretty was it? It was so so pretty. Now I could pop a little bit of this on here, but I already have shiny. I already have Reverend on. Uh, I have unique eyeshadow. I list everything that I have used today um, in the description box. So I'm looking at it, going, woo. Okay. Now, I am going to add, I'm going to use, I'm going to do finishing touch. I'm going to use this uh, Unique Spray and Mist just to set everything because it is hot as Hades here today. It's supposed to be 90. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to melt. Yes, and you melt here in the south. I'm telling you, the humidity is already here. And this is just May of 2023, okay? So if you're watching this 100 years from now, you'll know what year it was here. <laughs> All right, let me shake this up. And I'm using my Fix and Glow. Um, you can still find this, I heard, in Target. And that's about the only place that will have it. They're ha they've got a new one coming out, and I cannot wait for that. Now, I do love to set it right through here. I love to get that little shine kick that this gives. And I like to put it through the center of my face. It just gives you kind of a youthful glow. It really does. It's beautiful and it smells divine. I, I don't know why they're getting rid of this, but it is my favorite, favorite way to get that shine and set it in my face. And it stays all day. I don't have to worry about it. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. The only thing I need left to do is I got to finish up my under eyes hmm. and then I'll be done. Here's our finished look. What do you think? I love it. The only finishing touch that I did was I came back and used a little bit of layback and I put it right here in the corners just like that. Kind of tap it in. It is a matte color, so it really does help to mattify that inner corner. And if you have teary eyes like me sometimes, that is a plus. You need to do that when you lay these things down. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so much. I tell you what, this is a fun look, and I think you will love it for summer. I think it's going to be one of my to-go-tos because right now it's very touchable, and that's what I like. You don't like to touch your face and it feel in sticky or tacky or go to hug somebody and you get your makeup on them. So this is like foolproof set. I wish you would try it. Please like and share and click that notification bell. I appreciate you guys every week coming and watching me. I do. And next week, we'll do something else that's really fun. Hmm. Give me some ideas. Yeah, that's a good idea. Give me some ideas of what you would like for me to kind of touch on for you. I would love to do that. I really would. All right. I will see y'all next week. Have a fabulous day. Bye.